$777 million. That's the amount of revenue generated by Hillsborough County agriculture producers in 2009. But take a look at the big picture and you'll find that agriculture's economic contribution to Hillsborough is even greater. According to a 2005 study, the total economic impact of agricultural production and the businesses that support the industry is $1.4 billion, providing over 20,000 jobs with $293 million in annual earnings. Keeping this essential economic engine going is the result of hard work. I know the value of the crop they grow, their passion for producing an excellent quality food product from Florida. We have a lot to be proud of. As a native Floridian, and, and my family's been in some form of the citrus business probably since the mid-20s in Florida, um, I have the opportunity to work with some of the finest growers in the world. The latest figures for Hillsborough County crop production are from 2009. The crop with the highest sales that year was strawberries, bringing in $338 million. Second is ornamental plant production, with $144 million in sales. Vegetable production was close behind, ranking third with $138 million. With $28 million in revenue, aquaculture was fourth. Citrus ranked fifth with $21 million in sales. Combined, these five crops generated 86% of agriculture sales, yet used only 16% of the farm acreage. The success of agriculture is also due in good part to supportive partnerships that have developed in Hillsborough County over the years. Hillsborough County is, is a very fortunate county in that we had visionary legislators several years ago who saw a need to keep agriculture production growing in Hillsborough. So out of that concern and out of that, those visionaries came the Ag Economic Development Council. And that is made up of a group of growers, water management people, DEP people, EPC, everybody's at the table, everybody has a seat and to get collectively they decide what needs to be done legislatively in Hillsborough County. Hillsborough County is unique in that we have a designated program to uh, assist agriculture uh, in their business development uh, type activities. This program was created back in 1998 as a result of a, uh, a report that went to the Board of County Commissioners recommending that the agriculture community needed a voice in county government to provide the agriculture perspective on decisions that were being made that could affect the ultimate economic viability of the industry. Agriculture has a long history in Hillsborough County. Some families have been farming for many generations. Oh, I come from a family that's been at this for, for four generations. It's kind of the only thing that I've, I've ever wanted to do. I've kind of had blinders on to anything else. We've been in the, in the Tampa Bay area since the early part of the century and have been growing vegetables and growing sod and citrus and now we're messing with some newer products and, and uh, I intend to retire in it if I possibly can. We started strawberries in 78, 79 on a very small plot and then we bought the place we have here We've been here ever since. We love growing strawberries. Hillsborough County UF IFAS Extension has been a longtime partner. Its agriculture agents bring research-based information to the farmers. I enjoy working with the producers of, uh, of this region. Um, they're great people to work with, and it's very fulfilling to be able to go out onto a farm and solve problems that they, they face on an everyday basis. Um, some of those problems can be disease, insects, pests, uh, some of them are uh, production type issues, some of them are marketing issues, and I really feel like I have a strong impact uh, economically towards those producers. And what we do means jobs in the community, and it means an economic uh, return to the growers. But we have a whole new list of disease resistant zucchini. We have educational programs every year. Some are in conjunction with the various commodity groups, but we bring the help bring the latest um, research that is done, also regulatory issues that are done. One of the big aspects that Extension plays, not only in keeping our growers up to date with regulatory issues and how to comply with those issues, is a big one to get the continuing education units 
for their restricted pesticide use license. Well, if, if you're not involved in the extension service or, or with Chris, you're behind the eight ball. And, and things change every day, every year in the, in, the, in the citrus business. And there's always new challenges in development, whether it's weather related or the uh, brown citrus aphid or tristasia. We just have a whole host of different diseases and, uh, and the scientist and the extension service stays on top of them and, and relays that information back to the grower. We have a little monthly roundtable meeting and, and if you're not part of it, you're behind the eight ball. Our relationship with Extension the University is very dependent one on the other. Uh, Alicia has been a, Alicia Widden has been a, a great asset to, to our farm and our farming community for years. Um, we had an issue with, uh, this is our Camino Real block. Uh, we had an issue with brown calyx this season. Uh, uh, we struggled with it for almost five weeks and why I had waited so long, I called Alicia. She was out here the next day. She took samples, she went down to the lab. She had the university's researchers working on it immediately. Uh, since then, we've had at least one follow-up Extension has been working with citrus growers to reduce the impact of a relatively new disease, citrus greening. Yeah, well, citrus greening is a, a disease that we found here in Florida probably about 2005, I believe. And it is actually vectored, in other words, transmitted from tree to tree by an insect called the Asian citrus psyllid. This bacterium then grows and replicates within the tree and builds up a source of disease in the tree. Uh, one of the programs that we're doing with the citrus health management areas is to get growers to cooperate together to control the vector of this disease. The way we've been working with IFAS and the extension service through Chris is that uh, we sit down each month and we list the next spray in for the psyllid control where we can sit down with a list of different products to be used and we, we choose the ones we want. They're placed on, on the internet and the growers that are, are in the spray program or in the South District, you know, we get them all together and we try to spray these psyllids all in the, within a two week window and uh, we wipe out whole populations. Hillsborough County farmers have a proud history of successful innovation and extension helps them find new crops and techniques. Um, sod is a great option and in some options ground covers are a good option and and we just want to be one of the first to, to come out with something that's that's innovative and water saving and, and, and works well. We've started working with several new ground covers that we've found to be um, a fit for, for different scenarios. Uh, it's just something new that we're working on and, and feel like um, is in our future in order to keep our hands in the soil and, and continue to bring bring a crop to the public that they want. Our latest thing that Extension's been helping me with, and, and specifically Sean Steed, we've, we've been looking at some, some irrigation saving technology that will allow us to produce a better plant with less water, with hopefully less fertilizer. And I'm really excited about that and, and look forward to, to being able to, to save some money and, and um, put in less inputs as well. Commercial forestry is another agribusiness in Hillsborough County. Pine woodlands and plantations, like this one, mimic the natural habitat of the forest that was here in the past. And so they also provide habitat for wildlife and plants. The products that come off properties like this produce saw timber, paper, mulch, straw, and support thousands of jobs in Hillsborough County. And while the trees in this forest produce economic value when they're harvested. The value that they provide to our growing urban environment in terms of reduction of air pollution, the removal of carbon and greenhouse gases, and the mitigation of stormwater flows far outweighs their value in terms of forest products. Hillsborough County Extension has a program to support small farm owners, many of whom work full-time jobs while starting their agribusiness. Extension partners with the Farm Bureau to teach school children about agriculture in Hillsborough County. We love Extension, actually. Um, we have a, our program that I referred to earlier called AgVenture, 
AgVenture was developed 21 years ago with Extension and Farm Bureau. Collectively put this program together. A few years later, we added um, State Fair into the mix and it has grown from 125 students that we were visiting in our first couple of years to now we have over 7,500 in the program. And it's a premier program in the state of Florida developed by those three organizations. Um, we also do a program through um, Extension 4-H called the Extreme Cuisine, where we go in with 4-H agents and extension staff and we put on an extreme cuisine which teaches children, mainly middle school, how to prepare and how to eat nutritious snacks in the afternoon when they get home from school. Our quick look at Hillsborough County's agriculture, past and present, shows that with continued innovation and with the maintenance of important partnerships, agriculture has a bright future here. This is what I've known my whole life, is what I love. I, I enjoy getting up every day and being outside and, and keeping our heritage alive as well. As you've seen in this video, Extension Service plays a vital role in helping keep agribusiness strong in Hillsborough County. Agriculture is one of Extension's four core areas, which also include family and consumer science, 4-H youth development, and horticulture. In each of these areas, Extension agents through our UF faculty members use unbiased research-based information to help Hillsborough County citizens find solutions to critical problems. If you have questions about what you've seen in this video, please call me at 813-744-5519 or you can send me an email to consella at hillsboroughcounty.org.